Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the bucket feature in Abyss Paint X. This is specifically for Android, so some parts of the interface might be a little bit different, but from what I know, this is going to be pretty much identical on Apple. I'm also doing this on landscape mode, so things might look a little different in portrait mode. The bucket is a tool used to fill areas when you tap on them. There are different modes to it that can change how effective it is, so I'll be taking you through those today. First, I'm going to create a couple areas for us to fill with the bucket. Now, to actually access the bucket, you're going to want to go on your toolbars on the side and just go to this one here. Once you click on it, it won't immediately give you a number of settings, but you can get to them. The bucket is mostly used for colouring a lot faster instead of taking your brush over the whole area. So once you're on the bucket menu, just tap somewhere in a closed space and it will colour it. So for example, if we tapped inside the circle here, it'll be coloured. You can, of course, erase this with the back button. You can also change your colour, so I'll just make it a lighter blue so that it's easier to distinguish from the lines. Again, just tap in your space and it will be filled. But if the space isn't completely sectioned off, like this with this open part here, then it will go outside the space and leak everywhere. You can, however, turn on gap recognition right here, which will usually make a difference, but it might not always work. Now let's go into the settings. You go into it by pressing the little settings icon right here. There aren't many settings for the bucket, but they're pretty good ones. First, we have the boundary section, which has two different sections, opacity and color. Opacity basically means you'll be focusing on the opacity of whatever you put down with the bucket. Then we have expansion. This essentially means that the bucket will go a little bit past whatever you do. I usually keep the expansion on one or two pixels just to make sure that you don't get a bad pixelated effect when you try to color something in. For example, if we had expansion on zero, then you will see that here at the end there is a bit of pixelatedness and it's not super nice. However, if you put that up a little bit and then try again, you will see there are no or hardly any pixels and it just looks a lot nicer overall. You do have to be careful though because if you have super thin lines on your boundaries, then it might go past them. Then we have gap recognition, which we already looked at a second ago. It essentially auto detects what it thinks are gaps so that it doesn't just go everywhere if there's a little exit in your boundary. I'm not completely sure what continuous filling does, but I will make a video on that once I understand it. Then underline being turned on here is pretty important as it usually means that it won't try to go over the boundary too much especially if it's on the same layer. It will generally try and stay underneath the lines. Then we have reference layer. This basically changes where it considers the boundaries to be. If you click current layer, it will only acknowledge lines and boundaries on the layer that you've selected and that you're already on. This will also mean that whatever is colored in and whatever the lines are will be on the same layer. So I don't really recommend this one. Then we have specific layer, which just means you can choose a layer from your drawing to select. Then we have canvas, which just means that it considers any boundary on all of the layers to be a boundary. That is the last of the settings in there. You can just come out of it by tapping somewhere else, and you can do the same with eraser. The eraser bucket feature is just the bucket one, but for erasing things, it's pretty straightforward and I would generally recommend it for backgrounds. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, consider supporting. Bye!